Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, crashing and launching issues in Resident Evil 4. This is a very common problem, so don't worry, I'm going to try my best to help you fix this problem. And make sure you watch this until the very end. This is a very short tutorial. And also, make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. Daily tutorials are really appreciated if you subscribe. And now, let's jump right into the video. So, what you have to do, usually this crashing and launching issues occurs, or you have this problem, firsthand, because you uh, you have to install uh, the latest drivers, and it's usually related to this problem. So, go and install, uh, if, you're, if you have an NVIDIA card, install the GeForce Experience, and you have here, you see, uh, you click on the download button right over here to install GeForce Experience. We have GeForce Experience, so yeah. Now just click on drivers here and then click on check for updates. And if there's an available driver for you to install, just click on download. Okay, you'll see here the option to download the update that is available. Otherwise, you won't see any option as you can see here. Also, install Microsoft Visual this one. You need to uh, click on here in the, this link. Just click on this to install. And if you have that, don't have to install it. If you have already have DirectX, as I said, don't install as well. But if you don't have it, just click on download. For AMD user, click on install this. For Intel user, install this as well. This is very good to install the latest drivers. And also ensure that you, after you install uh, the drivers, also you can head over to install drivers from here. If you click on advanced options and then optional updates here. From here, you can check if there's any available driver for you to install. Just check all the boxes here. If there's, you know, available driver for you, click on download and install. Now, once you've done that, now the next step is also ensure that you use your 100% power. Yeah, your computer is set to 100% like to power performance, uh, so to speak. You know, like for me, I have this on laptop, but I don't use this laptop to play games. But, you know. You like you can ask set to performance mode if you can processor power management make sure this is set to 100 percent processor power state and also if you have on your laptop computer if you have uh, you know you can change the power the power management like to performance you make sure you're doing that as well like here i have best performance make sure your power mode is, is set to is set to performance mode instead of best power efficiency or balanced you know and that's pretty much it I really hope, guys, now you can enjoy the game, uh, so, you, you know, you can enjoy the game and play the game instead of, you know, worrying about this problem, trying to look for a way to fix the problem. So, I really hope now you can play play the game, so make sure you subscribe and also restart your computer uh, after you finished all the problem, all the steps. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you now in the next video.